So we just got our hands on the Google Pixel Watch 2 here at the Made by Google event. And here's everything that's new. Actually, if you just look at it, not a whole lot. The crown sits a little more flush to the actual screen. Supposedly the screen is a little stronger than last year, but yeah, that's about it. It pretty much looks and feels like the same watch. The main difference is that the case is not made out of stainless steel. It is now 100% recycled aluminum. Still comes in one size, which great if you have small wrists like me, maybe not so great if you have bigger wrists. So while it doesn't look very different on the outside, we do have a couple of changes on the inside. That includes a new processor and Wear OS 4. So far, the only watch that has had Wear OS 4 is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6, so this makes it the second. So if you flip that sensor array around, you'll see that it's totally different compared to last year. There's a new multi-path sensor, which also includes a CEDA sensor that measures like minuscule beads of sweat on your skin and a skin temperature sensor. All of these things work together to track your stress. So say you're stressed out, about 10 minutes later, you're gonna get an alert and then you can log your moods directly on the watch. This is something that we saw on the Fitbit Sense 2 and now it's making its way over to the Pixel Watch 2. The Pixel Watch 2 also comes with some boosted safety features. Big one is safety check. It's a proactive timer. So say you're going home in an Uber and you need to let your girlfriends know that you got home okay. You can do that, you can set a timer, and if you don't let them know you're okay, at the end of that timer, your location will be sent out to your emergency contacts. Another really neat thing is that you don't necessarily need an LTE plan in order for that to work. What they've done is they've created safety signal, so, so long as you have a Fitbit Premium subscription, you can get all the emergency features without having an LTE plan. Very cool. The exercise screens are also a lot bigger and more readable. And because of this new sensor, you're getting 40% more accurate readings for vigorous activities like rowing, cardio, HIIT, all that good stuff that gets you huffing and puffing. So we saw a demo. I was not running on a treadmill today. I'll do that later. But you can basically get an alert every single time you move between heart rate zones. That's something other trackers have and have had for a long time. So it's nice to see that coming to Google smartwatch. So the big thing for me is that this year, battery life has supposedly improved. You're supposed to get 24 hours with the always on display enabled. Last year when I had my Pixel watch, I could not get through an entire day without having to charge at least twice. So not great, Bob. I can't exactly test that out here, but I'm excited to take my Pixel Watch home and see how it does in real life testing. So even though we're going from stainless steel to aluminum, the price is still the same at $349.99 for the GPS version, and it's an extra $50 for the LTE version. Pre-orders start today, and the Pixel Watch 2 ships next week.